In this video, I'll show you the procedure to create the simple mechanical component. When you look at the image, you can see that it is a front right isometric view. So I'll click on this particular hotspot of the view cube to generate the southeast isometric in which the front and right faces are exposed. Now we will create the profile of this front face. So I must align the UCS with the front face. I'll click on the view tab and I'll select uh, the front from the coordinate panel. Now the UCS is aligned. Now I'll create this particular rectangle with a dimension of 52 by 32. So I'll go to home tab and I'll select the rectangle tool and I'll click here to pick the first corner of the rectangle. I'll click on the dimension option and I'll give the length as 52 unit and the height as 32 unit and I'll just click to specify the opposite corner and I'll click on the zoom extends icon in the navigation bar. So the rectangle is created. Next I'll extrude this rectangle through a distance of 75 units. It's given here. So I'll select the extrude command. Then I'll select the profile. The extrusion thickness is 75. Since it's in the negative as a direction, I'll give minus 75. And it got extruded. Next I'll create this a triangular profile on this face. But before I create the profile, I'll bring the UCS origin to this point. Okay, so I'll click on the view tab and I'll select the origin option of the UCS command and I'll click this lower left corner of the face as the origin point. Now I'll click on the polyline command and I'll create this triangular profile. I'm going to define the vertices of this triangle by using the coordinate method. As you are aware, in coordinate method, you define a point in terms of its x, y and z coordinates. An x coordinate is the horizontal distance of a point from the y axis and the y coordinate is the vertical distance of a point from the x axis. Here, this distance is 10 units and the height is given as 32. So, to locate this particular point over here, I'll use coordinate method. Okay, so when I'm asked to give the start point, I'll give 10 comma 32 because the X coordinate is 10 units and the Y coordinate is 32 units. And you know that this point has an X coordinate which is 25 units based on this origin and its Y coordinate is 16 units. So let's give these values 25 comma 16. So that point is defined. Next, I have to define this point. For that, I'll again use the same coordinate input method. You know that this point is at a distance of 52 minus 10. That is 42 centimeters from this end point. So I'll give it as 42 and the Y coordinate is the same, which is 32 units. So I'll type 32. So that point is defined. Now I'll just give a close to complete the triangle. In fact, this coordinate method can help you save a lot of time and effort. Otherwise, in order to locate these points, we have to draw additional construction lines and then we have to perform offsets, erase those lines afterwards. Now we have totally eliminated all this procedure. Next, I'll generate a surface from this triangular profile in the negative z axis direction. For that, I'll make use of the press pull command. So I'll click on press pull. And you just pick a point inside this triangle. Okay, then you type the distance as minus 36 because that is given as the length of the surface. Okay, now when you go for realistic shading, you can see that the press pull command not only generated a surface, but it has also performed the subtraction. Now this profile you can erase, okay, select it and you can use erase tool to get rid of it. Next, we will create this quadrilateral profile. For that, we have to locate this point first. Okay, we can locate this point using the coordinate method. We have kept the origin over here. Based on this origin, we know that this point is at a horizontal distance of 52 minus 10. That is 42 units. That means the X coordinate is 42 and the Y coordinate is 32 because the height of this point is 32 units and the Z coordinate is 75. Since it is in the negative is a direction, we have to give minus 75. 
So let's draw the polyline profile. So I'll go to polyline tool. When I'm asked to give X coordinate, I'll give 42. And the Y coordinate is 32. And the Z coordinate is minus 75. We have located it. Now you can turn the ortho mode on by pressing the F8 function key. Now you can give the height. This total height is 56 centimeter. So this height is 56 minus 32, which is 24 centimeter. So I'll give 24 as a height. Then you have to move 24 in the negative x axis direction. So I'll keep the cursor in this direction and I'll type 24. Then you can come to this point, make a click there by activating the O snap. I'll make a pick here. Then you just give a close. So we have made the profile. Now you can extrude it through 24. So go to extrude, select this profile and you give a height of extrusion as 24. There you are. You have made this object. Now let's give a union command to combine these two objects as a single unit. Now you have completed this model. Okay. So in this exercise, basically we have learned the application of the coordinate method to define points by locating the origin in a predefined location. Hope this tutorial has helped you to learn a few simple but useful concepts. Thanks for your time.